Alright guys, so check it out. About to get ready and pop in this uh, processor, this Core i7. Uh, I'm going to unbox this guy for you. And we're going to put it in right here. So this is, I guess, pretty straightforward. How did that, did that thing go? It slides under. And move this thing here. And it only goes in one way. Let's see. This camera angle's all messed up because I'm showing you guys from the top and I'm on the bottom. So just uh, bear with me. I don't have a cameraman tonight. Now, this guy did come with an actual uh, heat sink, but I'm not going to use it. And as you can see, it's got its own uh, thermal compound, and that's because I have my own CP. Uh, CPU cooler that I'm going to be using. Open it up as nicely as I can. And that's it. This, let me find the camera. Sorry. This is it. So I'm going to try my damnedest not to touch the top of this thing. And I'm going to try my second amount of damnedest to plug it in and it's kind of dense uh, this is an ivy bridge deal but I mean it's got a little bit of weight to it and you pretty much match match the pegs up like so sit this down and that's it it's in there that easy processor is in so yeah that's the ivy bridge just installed that's the quickest install we're gonna do uh, next thing I'm going to do it start assembling other stuff around it. I'll show you guys as I unbox stuff and get it in. So stand by. All right, guys. So check it out. Um, the next part in our build. Oh, I just put myself. Is the power supply? That hurt. I was gonna say some curse words, but I know I got some younger viewers, and I'm trying to stop cursing so much. Um, <laughs> next thing I'm gonna do is install this power supply uh, and. My knife is somewhere in this pile of rubble, so I'm not going to use it. And let's take it out of there. Let's unbox it like we're going to do everything and see what we got here before we start thinking about installing it. Ugh. All right. Uh, come out. Come out. Come out. Wherever you are. Damn, sorry guys, I like slapped you in the face with the damn box. Alright. Let's see. Ah. Alright, you've got the actual manual for it. Check, you got the warranty guide for it. Check. And hell, I have to get all this stuff back together at some point. You've got the actual power cord for the wall. Need that. You've got screws, and you got the little power by Corsair, which I'm not going to use some more zip ties. Use that as we need it. You've got in this little baggie here all kind of plugs, SATA, you name it. Um, and they got a nice, pretty black braid on them. So, somebody's going to say why they have to be black here. Yeah, don't ask me, ask me. But, but it's got a nice look to these cables. Look at that. That's nice. Goes perfect with our current scheme. Uh, pro probably because it's Corsair on Corsair. Which is cool. Take all this stuff off. And we're going to get to the little brick. A little brick monster. Just throwing stuff around. Like I'm the boss. And we're going to take the power supply out. Take a look at it. This guy is modular, as you can see. It's got some good weight to it, nice power supply. You got the back, got an on off switch. Oh, let's see there. Got the name branding again and what the plug plugs in it. And this is your motherboard plug and your two top plugs. This is, this goes in the top somewhere. That's all I know. Again, guys, this is my first time doing this. I forget what this plug is called, but I will show you where it goes. So, I'm going to install this before I take this off. 
I'll show you what it looks like installed and show you what it looks like plugged in and then I'll we'll go from there and we'll keep building this guy see you in a minute good luck to me and to you if this is your first time just be patient Whew, take a deep breath it'll be all right I'm excited nervous and scared all at the same time all right guys so check it out I've got the power supply installed this is the HX 650 by Corsair I've also got it plugged into the wall and if you look it is that is an off position so that's just gonna ground this chassis out and I've run the power done some, a little bit of cable management we'll do a little bit better I run it through here up the back right here and this is the one motherboard connector then if you look up top in this corner right here there's another one then both of those were connected and you those are just pre-connected in this modular power supply so both of those are complete so we got the motherboard installed power supply we've got the actual processor and we're gonna start installing some more stuff bit by bit so stand by alright guys so check it out this is what we've got now we are getting ready to do the H60 this is that CPU cooler hydro series can't wait to unbox this this is a little different than what a lot of people do um, and what I mean by that is is that unless they're planning on overclocking they generally don't go with one of these I've never built a computer that's my disclaimer again so try this at your own risk but uh, I decided hey this would be a good part to put in next um, since we've got power supply motherboard and we've got the actual uh, CPU in let's put the cooler in so let's unbox this bad boy and see what she has to offer. Of course they have some pretty good boxes by the way. Some pretty good uh, packaging. Here's some more of this stuff talking about different coolers. Um, here's the installation guide. I will definitely need that. Um, and this is interesting. We got like two big ass radiator hoses. Um, so when we get in here and unpack it this is what you've got a radiator it looks like a car radiator I'm not even joking to you you've got this part which has I guess pre-installed uh, thermal paste on it and then you've got two radiator hoses that's going to be cooling this thing and the actual fan plug-in so installation should be fairly straightforward um, then there's this uh, bracket that does something I look at the installation guide and I'll show you how it goes in but I think this goes on the bottom of the motherboard and this other stuff goes on the top um, here's a fan that goes in front of it which is sweet and there should be some screws and all kind of goodies and there it is so next step is to install this I will be back when I am ready to install so wish me luck and you should see that on next this cooler stand by alright guys so as you can see the actual radiator is installed the actual cooler is installed got a nice little look to it got some uh, twist locking pins going on here and I even installed a, a top fan and right now I've only installed one I'll probably add a second one later but I've got one here there's actually a fan behind the cooler here then there's if you look here there's two fans you can't really see them I'll show them to you you can kind of see them now in the front of the case so there's four fans total in the case right now and maybe and I know we'll add at least one more as we go along uh, one thing to note I removed one of my hard drive bays temporarily because I can actually attach that I, I've got one solid state and then I ordered a couple and I got one terabyte drive I ordered two more so I can install one here and install another one on the bottom I think I'm gonna try that anyway so I can have a little bit of extra air space in there for extra cooling we'll see how that works out um, I don't know what I'm going to install next I'm just going to see what all I got I got a bunch of stuff and just as I get a part ready I will uh, show it to you uh, if you look at the other side there's the actual plate that holds the actual cooler in and this rock solid tight so yeah everything's in good shape so we're moving right on along so that's it and all this glory it's got a nice little shine to it too but uh, there's a front view looks sexy 
and that is the H60, I believe is what it is. Yep, H60 from Corsair. Uh, we'll see how it does. Stand by for the next piece.